Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back to my home. This is Charlotte. Well, this is a surprise. I really didn't think that um, I would be doing an Itsy Share today. I thought we'd be doing a project, so tomorrow we will for sure be doing a project. But let's get a little bit of business out of the way before... Um, we look at this sweet thing and I tell you a little bit about it. So um, I did receive an envelope from Linda Barnett. Wanted to put that out there so that Linda, you would know. That came yesterday. Also, um, Beverly should be at her daughter's um, this week and the 24th. This is, you are seeing this on the 20th is a celebration of life for her son-in-law. So I just really wanted to put that out there. Um, uh, also, let's see, Annette sent something I thought was the giveaway for this month and it wasn't, so I will open that on camera tomorrow. But I wanted to share and tell you a little bit. You know, I... Um, we created this together and this is the next one that we need to work on this one here they're so cute guys they just are adorable and i wanted to make them into ornaments and i ended up not doing that i decided with the two larger ones which are the dove soap boxes I'm gonna do the mini journals. If you wanted, you could easily set this on a limb on the tree, the Christmas tree, but these, um, these are made from Irish Spring soap boxes. And you can kind of smell it, not much, but just a tiny bit. They're, um, the width is the same, but you can see they're a good half inch smaller, so I thought, I'm going to reserve these two. There's this one. We did these covers together. A lot of you remember um, when we did this. So they are the same except for the inside. Um, these are going to be the ornaments. So there'll be two ornaments um, that we're going to be doing and then two mini journals. So if you're seeing this, this should be um, in my shop. So let's go ahead. I want to thank you for all your inspiration and your nice comments. Um, you know, you forget. I love to work in these little journals, but you forget how much work they are. And I can't figure out if they are more work because, just because they're smaller. I really am thinking that's what it is. It's harder to do things with your hands when you're dealing with something this small. But I did have a couple of these Santa Jingle Bells, so I did put that on there. And it matches the felt Santa on the cover. Then I got into, of course, my beads and some sequins. There's two little gypsy bells. Um, these little guys here, you can hear them jingle. So cute. Uh, these beads, the large red, the green, and these snowflakes are from my mother's stash. So, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Been getting into those and thinking a lot about her. So, want to share that. And then we've got some really, really pretty gold ribbon that goes around. This is a three signature journal, if you remember, but if you're new to my channel, you probably wouldn't have been around when we put this together. So um, she measures, let's see, about three and three quarters by, I believe this was two. Yeah, the cover is two and a quarter. The spine, I think, is an inch and a half. No, it is an inch and three quarters. But um, as you can see, I went ahead and I let the papers come out of the boundaries of the cover. Just look at this. There, it's just cool. I don't know what it is. I just, I fall in love with these little minis. So first page 
it's hard to get into because it's so big. So first page has a pocket here and there are tags. So we've got this tag here that's got some collage work on the front. This is the back. The back is cute and it's got a little stamp on it and it can really go in either way. It fit in without any trouble before I started loading it up, but you guys know me. A little circle punch and a um, Christmas stamp. This says greetings. It is uh, graphic 45. I'm pretty sure this is Artie Mays. It's not Christmas, but I really liked it, and I like the colors, so it makes a great journal page if you like to journal in these little books. A vintage um, music page there, and then some more Graphic 45 stamps here. I believe there are probably seven, so there's four, five, six, yes, yeah, seven in here. There's This is a little pocket right down here and then a larger pocket behind, and there is this tag here. Cute, cute ribbon, cute candy cane paper, and part of a doily. So there is that piece, and then I added I used throughout this book pieces of a graphic 45 paper pack, um, the 12 Days of Christmas, I believe. Um, yes, the 12 Days of Christmas. And so there's your two turtle doves, and I added a candy cane there, and then stamped this, added glitter, put a uh, Miss Beverly, I think that was from Beverly, um, a topper on here tag, added a um, poinsettia there and some washi tape here and then I get glue on here I got glue on here guys I did I got glue and so there's a cute tag right there with the graphic 45 seam binding ribbon at the top Tea dyed paper. I used a uh, dot up here on this ledger paper. There's a doily, another um, coffee tea dyed paper with some washi tape. This is the center of the first signature. It opens up. I just thought that was so cute. I didn't want to cut any of this off, that's why it's folded. Another um, coffee tea dyed paper, some Nouveau Glaze on the holly there, and a piece of Winter Wonderland um, Graphic 45, uh, the other side of the doily, a really, really cute tag here, and that's sweet, and then I stamped on there, that is the back side of that. This should fit nicely right in here like that. Get this doily out. There we go. Coffee tea dyed paper. Remember we did this together yesterday. This folds out. You've got a tag and then you've got assorted papers that you can choose from if you wanted to um, embellish then this really pretty tag, Sam Pool. Isn't she lovely? And that is the back. Remember, we put some glitter on the candle. Just so, so pretty. This, this down here is Prima paper. And another Sam Pool design there with a mini pocket. And then I just took, I put a little stamp snowflake on the back and created a really cute little, um, journal spot there and then this graphic 45 this flips open and you've got a pocket here with a prima tag and she's so cute she's holding a bundle of holly really really cute 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 tag oh is 
that in. I don't think that's in all the way. There we go. Then this page, I added a belly band and put a Santa topper on it. And then this tag here, really cute, I believe, too. That is Miss Sam Poole. Tuck that right in there. Vintage music sheet. I don't like to do anything to these because they're just beautiful the way they are. And then there is a... Where'd she go? Okay, she's in the book. A uh, cute, cute tag right here. And somewhere we have the... There it goes. It fell out. What are you doing? Somebody's up here grabbing a ladder. Okay, somebody's being sneaky. And went downstairs. That was hubby. Okay. So, another Artie Mays piece. That is the end of the first signature. Second signature here. I created a... Those are so small. Created a little envelope right there. And inside of here, I put some... Just little pieces that you can play with. Snowmen, like little stamps, or they'd make cute little tags or cute little pockets. And then this just, was it on? It was on this one here. Folds over like that so that you can see the Santa and Sleigh stamp. Stamped that. Just cute. Some fussy cut work there. This is that page, that Sino page that I had from my mom's. I thought I had used it all. A pumpkin pie recipe, and on the other side of that, I added a uh, Marion Bright. Really, really cute tag. Vintage book page here, as well as here. Coffee dyed paper. Sweet tidings, this opens up and you've got some pages here if you wanted to do any journaling. And a cute, cute tag here. A little bit of glitter on that poinsettia and a cute little tag there. So that just sits nestled right in there like that. Green doily, vintage book page, ledger paper, another belly band and I added a snowflake. And there's a tag in here, and this tag added just a strip of scrap paper and a piece of um, fussy cut. Opens up for a journal page if you find you need some more space. And then she just slips nicely right in there. Lots going on, guys. The center of the Graphic 45, um, 12 Days of Christmas, and a tag, on dash away, dash away all, um, Santa and his reindeer, and more vintage uh, music page. This page here, I put a wooden holiday with a Brad. If you open this up, here is the... Um, a cute tag with glitter fits perfectly in there journal page vintage page vintage page this opens up and inside you've got another tag and she cute little bit of collage on the back the other side of that stento paper stento paper from my mom and that's the second signature. And then we have this rice paper here. And holding this rice paper is a little red clothespin. And we've got a little booklet here that comes open with this belly band. And it's just different pages that I had left over that I thought would be just really cute to um, journal in, or you could take apart and use the little pieces. 
And I love, love, I think, did I get this here? I love these little clothespins, so. No, did it come from here? Maybe it did. So I like to use these when I can. Bingo card, book page, a uh, yellow paper that I had stained. Here is a little pocket and tag we made, oh, months and months ago, family. This was one of the first things we did for Merry Monday. Fits in this little pocket. Washi tape, that is the center of the last signature. Then I added, we also did this together, oh, Christmas tree. So I added a touch of blue on here, and this opens up. You've got some washi tape there. Cute, cute. Fits in this pocket and sits right in here. And then I put a collection of little tags together with a brad, and they're sitting in there with a little paper clip. And here is another um, vintage page and on this page, we have a green uh, clothespin, and then, I don't know if you remember, we did this a long time ago, tag and pocket, and then I put a little snippet of uh, fabric and lace with a bead and a bulb pin, and I think I will put those on this cardstock. I think that might work better than on the vintage paper. Copy tea dyed paper, book page, vintage book page. I didn't want to touch this. I left that. Um, they tend to be fragile. And then washi tape there. And this rice paper, you can see the uh, fibers in there, opens up and reveals this really pretty tag. We also made this together. So cute, guys. This this was fun. I look forward to doing the others. But this is it. This is the cutest. I just, yeah, she's a chunker. She is a chunker for sure. And if I put her, I mean, you can see, she is not going to close on her own. But you know what? On a table or in a bowl... See if I can get this in there. Should go in there. It was in there before. Um, just like that. I mean, she makes you want to pick her up, touch her, and um, look through her because she's just cute, cute. So, guys, that is my share for today. And tomorrow we are going to be creating a project from Beverly. And this is what? Let me see, what is the front? This is what we are going to be making. So if you are interested, stop by. Thumbs up, please. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss anything. And um, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll catch everyone in the next one. Bye, guys.